Hey, Steve Mignogna here doing the Junkyard Crawl at Bernardston Auto Wrecking in Bernardston, Massachusetts with a 1990 Plymouth Voyager minivan. Now, they're not very exciting, or are they? You know, you got to remember the minivan arrived in 1984 and they're still being made today. Uh, very many changes, of course, made, but the idea of a vehicle under six feet tall that could fit into a suburban garage on like a big van and still hold six or more people was a revolutionary thing in 1984 when these things arrived. Now, a guy named Hal Spurlick, who worked at Ford for many, many years in the 70s, uh, proposed to Henry Ford II, the deuce, that we should make a mini-sized van. Ford said, get out of here. We don't build small vans. Stop it. Well, Hal Spurlick followed Lee Iacocca out of Ford and over to Chrysler, and he arrived in 1978. And Spurlick's idea for a minivan took root at Chrysler and arrived in 1984 as the S platform and sold like mad. In fact, there are 15 million of these things built and counting to this very day. Very, very significant vehicle. Now, the S platform is not to be confused with the K platform, which is the K car. Uh, and the whole thing about these is the front wheel drive. That's what helped to make the minivan as compact and efficient from a packaging standpoint as it could be. And it all comes down to the front mounted engine and front wheel drive. We see it right here. And this is the Trans 4 engine right here. And these things started out at 2.2 liters and then grew to 2.5 liters. Other engines possible in the K car was this thing right here, the heavy 2.6. I remember seeing these things on, on Dodge Aries and Plymouth Reliance and saying, wow, the Hemi word being defiled in a sense. But this would have been on front fender of like a 1981 or 82 K car right here, Hemi 2.6. And kind of, yeah, it was a Hemi, but it wasn't a 426, big difference. But this is a uh, 1981 Plymouth Reliant K catalog when these things were brand brand new and Chrysler was coming out of the bailout. And again, front wheel drive, you may remember these things with a smile or a groan, you choose. But these were the things that sold like mad. Lee Iacocca, if you can find a better car for what, five grand, buy it was his thing. And that's the whole point on the right, the Trans 4 engine, that cradle, that thing right there, that is the money that made the K car uh, really a profitable endeavor. And that basic engine cradle right there is in place here under the hood. And in fact, some of these things are identical. In fact, the engine is identical, uh, but the cradle is similar. But one thing we do see on the minivans, the air cleaner system is tall. It stands much taller than it ever could under the hood of a passenger car. But that 2.5 liter engine right there is uh, absolutely the same stuff as is the little torque flight transmission, the automatic right there that you'd find in a K car. Now something new for 89 or 88, or, yeah, 89 and 90, two years only, 89 and 90, would have been an optional turbo 2.5 with 150 horsepower and a five-speed stick. A small number of those things were built. Can you imagine one of these things? It would say turbo on the fender. They were sleepers. They were quick little rigs, like 14 seconds with traction. They were pretty cool pieces. Now, this is just a naturally aspirated 100 horsepower 2.5. But again, if this is one of those turbo 2.5s, it would have an emblem right there and be worth saving. Now, this is, if it looks short and small to you, well, you got to remember that the minivan came on two wheelbases. There was a 112 inch wheelbase, which was used on all of them through 1987. But in 87, the Grand Voyager arrived with a 119 inch wheelbase and that took over. But for the first few years, all minivans were very short like this. Uh, but again, this is the short wheelbase we see right here. Now inside, we can see the mandatory 85 mile an hour speedometer, the column shifted automatic. In fact, some of the switch gear is shared with the K car, the Aries and the uh, uh, other, the Reliant kind of ugly little cars. But again, these were very important. And if you can't afford a big one, you can always get a small one. This is Auto World, round two, Tom Lowe and company. They just launched this thing. Very cool. This is the loaded uh, with all the wood paneling, the mighty minivan series right here. Kind of a cool little deal. But uh, if you can't afford a little one, you can always get a little one, if you know what I'm trying to say. But the word Voyager, you gotta remember the Dodge Caravan. Now that was the name that Dodge came up with their version of the minivan. And Caravan was a new term uh, for 1984, but Plymouth was already using the Voyager name all the way back. We can see right here in 1975, this is the Plymouth Voyager catalog and it was applied to strictly full-size vans. But again, the Plymouth, yes, Plymouth did make vans just as did Dodge. And here's an example, but the Voyager was strictly a passenger vehicle. It was not a cargo van. And again, Voyager absolutely 
is uh, the term, and Plymouth reused that name, but putting it from the big vans to the little ones. And again, Voyagers were made from 74 through 83, and in 1984, the downsized Voyager uh, replaced the B-series van with rear-wheel drive and stuff to these minivans right here. But again, the beauty of these things was how small they were. Under six feet, you drive this right in your house, no problems with... Uh, with uh, taking the top off of it. And of course, much utility. The tailgate opens up right in through here. Here we go. And a wiper on the back, kind of nice to keep that glass clear. Of course, safety glass. We can see it having done its thing right here. Right there. Crystallizes, it can't cut you too badly. And here is the back. So you can see mom loading all the soccer gear and the groceries and all that stuff. And of course, this one was a seat equipped version. Now it has a Ford six popper and a Chevy small block in the back. Things that probably were not meant to be carried. A little heavier than its standard weight rating. But with that said, this would have been a cargo vehicle with room for probably nine people. Uh, and uh, again, this is the short wheelbase version, so it, it could be even more commodious than this. Come around to this side here, maybe if you shoot through there, Shane, one of the beauties on the minivan was the sliding side door. If you want to shoot through the window, here's the magic. And instead of a door that opens out into the wall of your garage, it simply slides back and you crawl in and out. But again, flat floors, thanks to that front engine. Uh, there's no drive shaft tunnel, there's no axle hump, none of that stuff. The only intrusions are these little wheelhouses right here, and even those are made to work with a little plastic bin, binnacle if you will. But again, just an efficient use of space. But again, being a Voyager made for passengers, it's got a lot of soft surfaces inside, extra lights, high back captain's chairs right here. And and again, the buckets or the bench seats in these things were removable uh, for easy conversion to cargo use. And again, we have a couple of engines here, Chevy, Chevy small block and a Ford 206 popper. Might be a 240, don't know. But the rear suspensions on these were very similar to the K car. Basically coil springs, little control arms, and a beam, a crude looking sort of a U-section U iron beam. So again, no independent rear suspension, but these could handle, you know, six people, you know, eight people, in fact, with a full load. And I love the little Voyager nameplate right here. Again, plastic in the age of uh, synthetic, just fakery. And again, the whole point was low mass, high utility, you know, good value for the money. And uh, that's the story of the final year, 1990, for the first generation minivan, 1984 through 1990. And again, 15 million of these things and counting. And now the modern ones are far more evolved. Of course, V6 power, um, you know, far more horsepower. In fact, close to 300 horsepower. But again, the humble beginnings of the minivan right here. Now, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the Steve Mag's YouTube channel. Give us a thumbs up, share us with your friends, and hit the bell so you know when the next video hits. We'll see you tomorrow morning.